Hey everyone, PTL here, and on today's episode of PTL's Garage, we're gonna learn how to put a head onto a short block of our 12 valve VR6 Big Turbo, or AKA the VRT build. So let's get to work because this is PTL's Garage. For this build to be possible, number one, we have to give major thanks to our Patreon members, because they're the ones who funded this, and Eurotuning. Without Eurotuning, this project would have never been actually a uh, realization and actually be affordable. Uh, Eurotuning is one of our sponsors for this build, so thank you guys, everybody at Eurotuning. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. So um, the next part of this is actually your parts and what you need to make uh, pretty much a VRT fully possible because number one, they're, they're, these are high compression engines. So boosting them is not the smartest thing when they're in like full on NA form. They have to drop the compression. So one of the most affordable ways to drop the compression on a VR6 is to get a head spacer and to get a uh, stud conversion for your head bolts. So we're gonna show you guys the parts that we have. Number one are the studs. All right, here they are. And part number is 2044705 from ARP. Phenomenal company. I mean, everything I get is from them. They, uh, this entire build, all the hardware has been from ARP. So um, I can't even get mad. <laughs> they, they make good stuff. They make stuff that really does work. So. So as always, when you're using their hardware, you gotta use the fastener assembly lubricant. Um, there is a torque specification little thing in here. When we get to that point, we'll show you guys. And then obviously the studs, all right? And as always on all their studs, there's an Allen top and a flat spot. That's how they go in. Bottom top, uh, let's see here. There we go. Uh, I think there's multiple lengths. Yep. So we have to find out what lengths belong to what before we start uh, putting hardware in. Um, that's one of the issues with VR6s. They have a lot of different bolts that mount the head because of how they're designed. So we're going to walk you through and all that, and then we're going to start laying all the, all the bolts in there. And then last but not least, what makes a VRT a VRT is the head spacer. So this is gonna drop our compression about nine to one. So this will be pretty, now you can see how thick this thing is. This is pretty much gonna give us all the ponies that we're gonna need and pretty much and all the extra comp um, uh, volume so we can make a VR6 a turboed VR6. So super cool. We're gonna walk you through it, how to install it. It's very, very simple. It goes in somehow, like, like this. Oh, here you go, like that. But I gotta get everything else uh, sandwiched together. There's actually a sandwich gasket kit, uh, top and bottom, to make this work correctly. Now, if you're wondering what is the torque sequence for it, there it is. <laughs> That's how many bolts are involved in this. What is it, 20, 20 bolts. So that is a torque sequence right there, all right, guys? We'll get to it all and we'll walk you, again, we'll walk you through the whole entire procedure. All right, so I haven't installed them, but I verified my orientation on how the studs work on this motor. So you get three different sizes, okay? There's a very long one, one short one, and a medium. So I'm gonna take them out so you guys can see what I mean. Okay. These are the three sizes that you get in the box, and there's 20 in total. You have three of these extremely long ones, and they only go in one area. So 
this is the back of the block this is the front so this is the intake this is the exhaust okay guys on the intake side which is this side you start off with the long one one short one long one short long and then short okay in the center they use all the ones that are all the same size. So these are the medium ones. These are the ones in the middle of the box that you have the most of. They all go down the middle. And then on the exhaust side, you have a short, medium, short, medium, short, medium, short. All right. That is the current um, layout of your... studs all right so this is the front of the motor or the intake side this is the exhaust side and then this is the middle so you guys can see short and the medium short medium short medium short Mediums on the middle. Large, short, large, short, large, short. That is the entirety of the stud kit. All right. So now let's actually install them correctly. So every single one has to get the special assembly lube on the base. Screw them all down, hand tight only, and then we'll work on the next uh, step. All right. Let me get this mic readjusting. Okay. I'm gonna start on the short one here. Or I should do a couple of them so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I dunk it inside of here. This is actually probably the cleanest way of doing it that I've figured out. And just scrape off the residue. I do about a quarter of it down. And fasten it. A couple of turns won't hurt. And then we'll tighten them all down by hand afterwards. The least messiest way of doing this. I'm gonna do the first roll on camera. I'm gonna do the rest really quick, okay? All right, let's finish up the rest. All right. Now that we got the engine all settled, studs are ready. All we need to do is add a little bit of um, lube on here, put it on your finger, wrap it around, wrap it around all these guys, and then we'll put our gaskets. Actually, we'll put our gasket and all that, that way we don't get it on the surface. So it's a triple gasket setup, all right? See here, it's one, the metal one, and then the bottom one as well. Let's see, what is the timing? Okay, so this should be going this way. So we gotta lay down the bottom gasket first. Okay, it goes on first. Mm. 
super careful. Try not to bend the gasket in any way. It's gotta go down nice and even. Same procedure. And I have to shimmy it around. These are laser cuts, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, very sharp edges. And last but not least, the top gasket. Come on, buddy. This is what I hate the most is these gaskets are so flimsy. All three gaskets are now officially down okay remember exhaust side intake side now before we even put the head on we have to add all the fastener lubrication for the top studs and then we'll put the head on and then the nuts and then we torque it down to spec all right it is now time to combine the two to make them one once again let's go and grab the head be right back best to slide this on here and not drop it. Things heavy. Oh, <laughs> it started. <clears throat> ah, things stuck. It's on there. Well, it's got to like 
the top bolts I gotta slide in nicely. Let me see if I can give a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so trusty rubber mallet. All I did was smack it in a circle on the cams, just nice and slow. And it finally went all the way down slowly. It did what it needed to do. It's done. It's now officially mated to the head. Well, not mated, but on the head. Let's get a quick walk around. You guys can admire this so much. Oh, it looks so good. Can't wait to paint it after this. So next is to put all the nuts and bolts on top. I mean, the washers and nuts, and then we'll get ready for the torque sequence. So I came across a problem here, and I can show you guys in just a minute. I'm gonna start tightening these down. This is a 13, 12 sided uh, socket, and this is the problem. You need to get a slim 12 sided, uh, 12 point socket. So this is a 13, and this is a 12 point. Problem is, this is too big. We need to get a 13 that's not too big. It has to be not a six sided, but a 12 sided. I'm gonna try a six sided, but I don't think it's gonna work. not gonna end the video yeah you can't do it <laughs> ah this sucks yeah I gotta go hunt down a 13 12 sided socket uh, to finish this job but yeah it needs to be a 13 but it needs to be a 12.13 um, to get these pretty much down to spec I would probably recommend trying to get it in a half inch if possible um, so you can use your torque wrench. You definitely gonna need a torque wrench to get these guys down. So I'm gonna leave you guys today, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna add the rest of the content after I find my socket that I need. Um, yeah, this really sucks, guys. Sorry. Uh, however. It's not the end. We'll get it done. It's only one one little bump in the road. So when I come back, we'll finish this uh, motor pretty much with the appropriate um, tool to get these all torqued down to spec. All right. See you guys later. Peace out. All right. So I found the perfect socket. You need a slim. 13 half inch drive deep socket so what I mean by slim this has to this is a half inch drive and you'll see how narrow this thing is and it's a 13 but it's for a half inch so you gotta be able to find one of those because you need it for your torque uh, your torque wrench we got a torque sequence up and then we have our uh, torque specification here and again lubricate them all hand tighten only 80 foot pounds so three steps up to 80 foot pounds. I know this is like very, very repetitive, but this is how it's done. So we have to divide uh, 80 into three. So let's see what we're at. What's 80 divided by three? Get my calculator, 80. By by three, so you can do twenty-seven plus twenty-seven. So the first first set of uh, weight is uh, twenty-seven foot pounds. The second set is fifty-four foot pounds, and the last set is eighty. Not bad. So twenty-seven, fifty-four, eighty. That's all we got to do. Now, we gotta get it done. Oh, 
This is a very slow process, just so you guys know. So. What I'm going to have to do is, um, I'm going to do it a little differently. It's going to be 20. We'll do 20, no. Thirty foot pounds, fifty foot pounds, and then eighty foot pounds. Yeah, because my uh, torque wrench, even though it does give me the points on here, I'd rather be more uh, solid numbers. So we're gonna do it that way. So we're gonna do the first three. So we have one, one, two, three right here. So we start off with the middle. One, two, there's 20 of these, so take your time, don't rush it. Okay, so we have the three here. Doing his backwards. It's okay. So one, two, no, one, two, three. That should be okay. And then four here. Number five. Number seven. No, wait, not that one. There we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And last but not least, number 20. Whew, so many of these. I gotta do it one more time. I mean, two more times. So that's at 30 foot pounds. Now we're gonna hit it at 50. 
okay? Starting the pattern all over again from the middle. And the way that you know it's the middle, there's three, three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and then this is the middle one. So 50 foot pounds, next. One. Two. Last but not least, oh, 20. Whew. All right, last one, 80 foot pounds. Oh man, it's a lot of work, guys. Definitely a lot of work. But it shall pay off, pay off in the end. Let's start again. Number one, right in the middle. If you lose your spot, remember, three in, three in, middle. So number one, first one at 80 foot pounds. One. Seven. Eight.
well. Thirteen. It's a workout, guys. For one arm. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on. Fifteen. Sixteen. Where are you? Here you Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last but not least, number twenty. All right, we did it. Whew. Head is officially on the motor. Oh man. So, you gotta follow your torque sequence to a T. There is no additional quarter turned, it's just torque to spec. So on this one, 80 foot pounds is the last one. So we did 30, 50, 80 foot pounds in total. All right. So main caps are done. Pretty much the whole entire valve train is done. Block is done. Next step here is giving a fresh coat of paint, getting all the timing components ready before we even install the timing. And then last but not least and the entire job is actually getting it all buttoned up at the end. And then we have to start ordering turbo parts and all that other stuff. I mean, not ordering, but installing the new turbo parts, gaskets, and all the other stuff that really matter towards the end. All right. And on that note, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Pinchial's Garage uh, with our Patreon-built VRT. Whew. Sponsored by Eurotuning. Um, this build again could never have been uh, possible without all the support from Patreons and Eurotuning. Eurotuning, good stuff, guys. If you were going to get into building a VR6 or a VRT, I, I, we ordered everything through Eurotuning. There's nowhere else that I needed to go. I didn't have to source stuff from other websites. I bought everything from Eurotuning, which is insane. Uh, very hard to find everything you need under one website. Usually, you have to shop multiples to get all this stuff that you need to build a VR6 turbo. So I have to give major, major like thanks to Eurotuning for this because it's it's been legit. It's been a very legit journey and a quality one at that. So again, thank you Eurotuning, Patreon, subscribers, everybody for allowing this to happen. And as always here at Beach House Garage, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Peace out, everyone, and you guys have yourself a wonderful day.